a lot of mixed emotions inside the Charles H. Wright Museum today during this memorial service. Of course, sadness at the loss, but many people sharing stories of the impact he had on their lives. The Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History is a fitting place for John Conyers' memorial service. It was led by the Masons, an organization both he and his wife were members of. So really appreciate it because it covers the dynamic of things from um, being a Christian, um, his kindness, his um, justice for all people and mankind. His greatest legacy, he told his wife, is his son's. I know it's, it's a lot for them to lose their dad. It's a lot for me to lose my husband, but, you know, losing a parent is just really a lot. In the midst of mourning, many memories were shared as people in the community arrived to pay their respects. Everyone here is just telling me different stories of how my husband helped them. In his 53 years on Capitol Hill, former Congressman John Conyers wrote, co-sponsored, and helped pass over 100 pieces of legislation, including the Civil Rights Act of 1965. He also helped individual Detroiters win personal battles. Um, one lady wanted to get her, her child back from another country. Um, so it's just, it's just very touching. And one lady worked on a lot of legislation with him. So it was very touching just to... Um, Get to hear all the stories, not just him telling me all the stuff or hearing it and seeing it in the news, but from the actual people that he helped. A poem handed out at the door reads, Detroit's warrior sleeps, his fight still lives. He opened doors for others to follow. Now we the people continue his fight. So he's going to be greatly missed here in the city of Detroit and, and the country, yes. Here at the museum, there is an exhibit called And Still We Rise. It takes you on a walk through the civil rights movement right here in Detroit. And the museum is encouraging all who come to the visitation to take a walk through that exhibit and see firsthand the things the congressman fought for. In Detroit, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.